Hello. So I'm currently lying in bed um, and I'm doing a card pull and Spirit was like, take out the camera and record this because there's um, some type of collective theme going around at the moment, like especially with the throat chakra, uh, people are being uh, initiated into speaking truth, like a divine, divine truth. And there's going to be a lot of tests um, if you're going to step into the new more authentic self or you are going to continue to allow the false programming to keep you in fear. Um, so I'm gonna do this little card reading here. Okay, so this was the spread that came out and I pulled it, um, it twice and the same cards came out, pretty much all of them. So this is definitely a divine message. Um, but what I'm seeing here, it kind of was spread out this way, but I wanna start here, which is a lot of people, see here this, this girl is looking up in an illusion, right? So th this is what the matrix, the matrix is called, is um, this divine illusion we're fed, um, which is the fear. And this fear feels so real, it can really paralyze us of um, actually stepping into higher divine truth. And so do you see here, she's completely almost possessed by a, a false world, a false matrix, a false programming, um, whether that be in her mind, whether that be uh, her external situations. But this is, um, I'm also hearing like social media. So like online, but also in real life, she's like trapped by her own illusion of how people are going to perceive her when it's actually just an illusion. And what you're being asked is that you can now choose to allow that uh, fear to essentially die, <laughs> allow that to um, remove from the psyche, from the body, because um, you have the power to go down into the fear or rise up into love and go up higher. And this is what I'm really feeling here is right now a lot of people are in this fear. If I if I uh, choose to step into this uh, priestess energy, into this energy of um, really becoming the woman that you know you are, or the man or whatever you reside as, um, because for spiritual evolved people, old souls, it is most like you were gypsies in past lives, witches, um, um, shamans, psychics, uh, really um, knowledgeable souls. And um, you know, there's this kind of deeper side to you, you know, like sometimes when we get into spirituality, it's kind of that lighthearted uh, law of attraction energy. But then when you, you pull deeper, you realize you have a lot of soul wisdom to to give to this world. You have you see things a lot deeper than the human eye um, and you see things a lot different to, to a lot of people. And there's almost like a denial um, of choosing to continue to uh, please others who are still living in this matrix or are you going to allow this power to reside and awaken within you because this is what's truly going to elevate your path to the the next level. And in order to get there, it's funny, I'm being guided like in a certain bridge way. Um, what I really pulled here was the emotions, because when I see the blue, I think of tears, I think of emotion, I think of feeling, but specifically inner child healing, there's probably a part of you that feels like, why can't people accept me? Or feeling like you're just a little bit different from the average person, which is understandable when you're a light worker, you do see things from a different perspective, from a world that's conditioned to see it like only this way. You see it both ways, but also from a higher perspective. And so when you allow your inner child to be free, because see here, she's like so happy, she's having fun, but this person's scared to let that in, but you have to let that out. That's the power to to bring that um, priestess energy in. But see here, this person has a higher perspective. You can't deny the higher perspective. You can't pretend to see things from a lower energy. Um, when you have the awakening, you you transcend up above the water to see things from the head, like the ethers, a, a higher perspective, which is a blessing and a gift. And I know some people, uh, I know at one point I denied it a lot, but in order to tap more into your power, you have to, you have to rise above and see that this is a gift. It's not um, a curse. You just see things a lot differently from a lot of people. Um, and also allow your inner child to be free, allow your inner child to guide you to the hobbies, to the things that you desire to do, because that's what's really going to elevate you to um, this energy and out of this, because this doesn't feel good. Um, and in order to, to break out of that, you may need to go through some emotions, uh, but do not linger in them. This is one thing I've learned um, from doing so much um, healing work in my life and um, going through energetic purges and um, feeling a lot of emotions, you don't have to allow these emotions to elongate because you can get to a point where you're almost addicted to that pain or you're addicted to that um, emotional um, rush because it is a rush when you go through a lot of sadness or you know pain because it, it can bring you into victim consciousness. But secondly, it can also allow you to feel sorry for yourself, which is an addictive 
pattern to be in um you know I think sometimes we create a bit more than actual necessary which is something I had to learn um through experience so going through it so that's why I tell you this message with conviction um but it is allowing yourself to feel those emotions but um observing them more so being the awareness but let them run their course I'm not saying like control but just know that like if you feel you're always like I don't know, listening to sad music to feel sorry for yourself. It's like, you can, uh, you can let that path um, take, you, you know, you can let that go. So it's not to live in the emotions, to allow them to come through, but don't like um, live in them too long because I think some of us stretch them out longer than possible, like longer than normal. My ears are ringing right now. So that's like a confirmation. Um, so doing that um, in the next, I think, month mainly I'm hearing. And um, these are the energies that came out. And these came out the same. Um, basically, I wasn't sure. I was like, mm. so I shuffled again. The exact same three cards fell out. So this is very accurate. So this is what I've been saying for a very long time. See here. This is like the root chakra energy at the bottom. And we reside up and this is the angelic frequencies, the higher dimensions, the higher realms. And here's the heart portal that bridges um, earth to um, the spiritual realm, the higher self, the guidance, all that sort of stuff. Um, and what this really is going to initiate for a few people, there might be a partner that comes in like a lover or a strengthened in your relationship. But for most people, whenever I see this card, I really pick it up, um, especially now is it's just more divine union because you have to understand with the inner person, there is energies within. And when you can come together as a whole complete person, um, that creates a union, a one within the self and the flower is able to blossom and see how they're interconnected. They're right. Balancing, mirroring back one another. Um, it's like the internal world of you is blocked blossoming uh, through the external. So, you know, internal is a reflection of the external. So when your internal is balanced and harmonized, the reflection is this beautiful uh, angelic energy. Um, and this is what really is being called to, to bring this in is you have to be able to stand your ground. And I've been hearing this from Archangel Michael a lot lately as the throat chakra for the past two months is really going through a collective healing for the people who are on the awakening pathway because um, a lot of people are being pushed further and further into truth and to not be afraid of what people are thinking because this is an illusion. And if you understand people are judging, it's because there is some form of uh, mind control to judge another because a part of themselves doesn't feel fully authentic or expressed, okay? So allowing that inner union to take place and when you are in that blossom state, you naturally will draw in and attract situations, people, experiences, opportunities, abundance, joy to match that frequency because the internal world is where the frequency is held that uh, is like an attractional force, which is like the law of attraction. You know, it's like an attraction. It forces in um, experiences on the vibratory rate you are at. But it also, this was the, the completion card of all this, which I thought was so beautiful and tied into this reading perfectly because you see here it's very similar like the patterns it's like this is the matrix and this is the control and the fear energies that are kind of lingered in humanity and sources is dropping you these roses and for you to fully embody but that's the truth of this reality there's so much inauthenticity in this world and a lot of people don't even know what authenticity is because of the control and the mind control and um, the non-expression of self and so it's like you are actually doing yourself a disservice if you live in this fear and this uh, false programming because it's not real it's not real at all this is the truth the bright colors the bright energies the chakras the gleaming auras that is your truth and so you have to allow yourself to express that and the more you allow yourself to express that source will keep giving you that because it's not going to keep giving you it if you're not using what you have it's like you know you have a like a, a fridge full of food like Source won't give you more food until you've eaten that food. You know what I mean? So that was a really bad analogy, but I hope you can understand the reasoning I'm picking up. So it's really the whole reading of this is a lot of people are going to be tested. And when I say tested, you have to understand this world is just like a video game. It's just, um, it's just, uh, I'm actually going to pick up one last card to resolve this um, reading I just picked from the top. But this world is like a video game. And you know, it's like everything will be tested to you. For example, when I was working with a healer and I was having to learn boundaries and standing up for myself, she was like, you know, there's going to be situations where you'll order something in a restaurant and it'll be wrong and you have to send it back. And like, it exactly is what happened. I started ordering like a coffee and it would be cold or all these different things. And I had to, uh, you know, stand up for myself and say, well, no, that's not what I ordered um, to learn my grant, my authority. And this is the whole point and purpose of this reality is like when you go through the tests, the universe will literally draw those experiences into you. So when I say tests, it's like over the next couple of weeks, um, specifically the next two to three weeks, there will be like a test of maybe someone questioning your faith or uh, your beliefs or something like that. And it's just to keep going in your path. And again, see here, this is like, 
uh, it's like the patterns that keep coming up. See these patterns? It's like the more you progress, the leaner this fear is going to become because you're like, I don't give a F. I'm just going to go at my own pace and I'm going to do my own thing. And I'm guided by the sun. I'm guided by the, 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 our mother earth and all the high energies. And she's just waltzing along and the fear is getting thinner and thinner. So hope you enjoyed this reading and sending you all the love in the world. I had so much fun filming this. So Mwah. bye.